In health news tonight, the link between an herb and fighting breast cancer. That's the focus of a clinical trial at Smilo Cancer Hospital at Yale New Haven. At News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Momenta in our New Haven newsroom tonight with more on this very unique study. Jocelyn? Sonia Darren, black cohosh is an herb you can easily purchase. It is generally used to ease symptoms for menopause, such as hot flashes. Now researchers are looking at how it could help prevent breast cancer. Five and a half years out from being diagnosed with breast cancer, I stopped taking it next month and I can't wait. Sharon Abramson is looking forward to no longer taking the drug preventing a recurrence. It gives you weight gain. Sometimes in the morning, my, I used to call them fins. My hands felt like I couldn't move my fingers. I couldn't move my toes. All my joints would hurt. Side effects are a big concern for patients like Sharon. A major reason why clinical researcher Dr. Aaron Hofstadter at Smilo Cancer Hospital at Yale New Haven is studying this well-known herb and its link to breast cancer. I'm trying to figure out if black cohosh is a good medication that can be well tolerated by women to prevent breast cancer. Black cohosh is a member of the buttercup family and used to relieve menopause symptoms. It's a well-researched herbal treatment. Not only does it look like it prevents breast cancer from growing in the cells and in a lab, but it also looks like it prevents cancer in animal models. And then there's also observational studies to show that in people, it looks like it reduces breast cancer recurrence and potentially could prevent breast cancer from happening at all. Karen Stavros is the research coordinator. Most people react more positively because it is an herbal over the counter. It was offered to women with biopsies indicating the earliest stage of breast cancer cells. These are examples of cancer cells filling what we call the duct of the breast. This is an example of ductal carcinoma in situ. The 20 some participants were prescribed to take the herb for two to six weeks. And the result of my research, I hope to see fewer of these cells at the end of the trial. We're not recommending that you go home and take this. Um, we're doing this as part of a clinical trial to answer a question that we don't know the answer to yet. The clinical trial is wrapping up. Dr. Hofstetter hopes to release the results next year and hopes to expand the trial to healthy women at an increased risk for breast cancer. News 8 is committed to its year-long Pink Power campaign aimed at raising breast cancer awareness. For more information, just log on to, onto our website, WTNH.com. Sonia?